On the Derm TV episode, what is benzyl peroxide? Lena from Makeup by Lena Baby asked, Benzyl peroxide has worked miracles for my skin, but I heard from a friend a while back before I started using benzyl peroxide that it causes tumors. Is this true? I've been using benzyl peroxide for years and my skin is just fine, but I'm curious. So Lena, let's discuss. Hello. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. I believe benzyl peroxide is safe and effective for the treatment of acne. On a practical basis, benzyl peroxide was around when I started in dermatology in 1975, and so I've actually had experience using it for almost 40 years. In that time, I've never seen a patient, read an article, or heard a report that could in any way connect the use of benzyl peroxide with any type of tumor or cancer in humans. Of course, benzyl peroxide can easily irritate skin if it's not used as directed, but irritation has nothing to do with causing tumors. So let's take it a step further. Benzyl peroxide, like all peroxides, can in theory generate free radical compounds, which are some of the compounds that are implicated in causing premature aging and photoaging of the skin, as well as the development of precancerous and then possibly cancerous changes. So if the potential free radical formation that benzyl peroxide is alleged to cause were impactful, wouldn't we really expect to see not only increased cancers and precancers and benzyl peroxide users, but premature aging of their skin as well? The people in whom acne medicines like benzyl peroxide are used are people who have excessive oil on their skin. And it's a well-known fact that people with very oily skin, with or without acne, tend to have delayed aging of their skin and they look more youthful with delayed development of lines and wrinkles and photoaging. But these are the people who have been using benzyl peroxide for years. I am not suggesting that benzyl peroxide delays aging of the skin, but I am merely saying that in the population that uses benzyl peroxide, if it really did generate damaging free radicals that could cause cancer, then in those same people we should see premature aging of the skin, not delayed aging of the skin. In terms of what's in the scientific literature, in 1981, a study concerning the carcinogenic potential of benzyl peroxide from the prestigious journal Science concluded, quote, caution should be recommended in the use of these and other free radical generating compounds, end quote. Well, that makes sense. But in the more than 30 years since that article was published, there is very little additional work even hinting at evidence for problems in rodents, let alone humans. On the basis of lab studies in rodents, some inconclusive evidence emerged suggesting that benzyl peroxide combined with ultraviolet light caused cancer in Swiss mice. There is no known relevance of cancer in mice to humans, and was it the benzyl peroxide or the ultraviolet light? Nevertheless, in 1995, the FDA, on the basis of this kind of inconclusive non-human experiments, changed the status of benzyl peroxide from category one, which is safe, to category three, meaning more data is needed to establish safety. That doesn't mean that it's not safe. In humans, two cases of controlled epidemiologic studies have found a lack of association between the use of benzyl peroxide and skin cancer, mirroring what we clinicians have observed for decades. I would like to stress that in my opinion, benzyl peroxide is a great ingredient when used as directed. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.